spin-offs and the like. Uh, Molly has her heart set on Castle Legacy. <laughs> John Huertas and I once tweeted, this is a couple years ago, uh, that in Latin America, Castle is called Esposito y Castillo. <laughs> We did this like a, a movie poster style thing where he's standing up like big and heroic and I'm behind him like this. <laughs> I'm scared of everything that on my face. Protect me, Esposito. I think, um, <laughs> I think there's a lot of very powerful, very wonderful characters on cast. Uh, I think it, as far as spin-offs go, it is ripe for the plucking. Right? Oh yeah. Done. So, hang on, let me give you something. Go ahead, please. Hello from Newfoundland. My name is Ron. <laughs> you don't sound like a Newfie. I'll go away. We love catching all the uh, hints uh, or nods to Firefly that show up in Castle. Are they your idea, or are the producers and writers big fans of the show too? Good question. If it has props, costumes, uh, lines, it's the writers being wonderful doing nods and winks, and I appreciate it so much when they do that. If it's just me farting around, <laughs> um, but they're very, very good about it. Uh, yesterday, yesterday? The day before yesterday, I had a scene where I had to say goodbye to like uh, approximately 20 people and, and, and call out names. And I couldn't remember 20 names every time. So I just started yelling out names of people in our crew. And then my crew. Thank you, sir. Yes, over there. Hello, Captain. Uh, I was just wondering how you would compare filming Firefly to Castle. How you doing? Good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, see? Just want to check in on you. Good, good. You're doing great. Thanks a lot. It's up there. Teddy's never watched How would I compare? Filming Firefly was ready to Castle. First of all, in Castle, I ride far fewer horses. <laughs> oh, here's, thank you, sir. here's a story for you really quick. I did a little comedy show uh, over the hiatus, The Kroll Show. Anybody heard of The Kroll Show? Good. Anybody heard of Degrassi Junior High? Well, so I'm in the right country for that. <laughs> The Kroll Show does a fantastic Degrassi parody called Wheels on Terrier, where every kid in school is in a wheelchair, except the new kid. And, <laughs> and Nick Kroll plays the new kid, and I uh, came to, I hope he doesn't mind if I just spoil this right now. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna spoil it, everybody. You ready? I play a Mountie. Can you ride a horse? I said, can I? He said, that's what I asked you. <laughs> yes, yes sir, yes I can ride a horse. So I get up on the horse and he kind of let me look at me sideways and I wonder if this guy's just full of it. And uh, I ride the horse. It was an excellent horse, we'll take that right now. And he goes, okay, good, you can ride a horse, I can see. I said, yeah, I used to do a show where I rode a horse all the time. And he said, what show was that? I said, Firefly. He Remember you? <laughs> I kind of look at him and he goes, I have longer hair. I have about 20 pounds a little heavier. Oh, you yeah, remember you? You brought Fred. Every episode of Firefly where I'm riding a horse, it's Fred. No matter what planet we're on, I'm riding the same horse. <laughs> Little known fact. I said, How's Fred? He goes, Oh. He's dead. <laughs> huh. 
and you died like uh, two months prior. Like you just died like a few months ago. Yeah. Uh, right? And I said, I was like, oh man, that makes me sad. He goes, dumb as that. And that guy had a great life. He was a great horse. He loved to work. He worked all the time. And when he got a little older, we just kind of let him chill and relax. And if they ever needed like an old kind of sway back horse, we'd bring in Fred. He was too happy. He was just too happy to do it. And they died. <laughs> and, and, and good, good question. Uh, we're on this side now, yes? I love your shirt. Um, first of all, I have to make sure I can get through this without crying. Um, last year, my boyfriend and I came, and I was in a wheelchair, and you got down and took a picture of us. And I said to you, we fell in love watching Firefly. And you turned to my boyfriend and you said, is that true? <laughs> it was a classic. Um, I was really sick, and since that time, my question to you is, will you come to our wedding? We actually, we, we took that picture you had taken, at the, we had taken with you at the photo op, and we took it with us at our wedding, and I'd like to give you our wedding invitation. And thank you for bringing us together, I met by the love I met the love of my life through you. Reavers. It's hard to compare. 
Malcolm Reynolds never had Firefly, never had a chance to stop. <laughs> It'll always be those contained little episodes that we all love and enjoy so much. Uh, so for me, I was able to live the dream. It was short lived, <laughs> but I lived the dream. It was nice, it was good. I liked it. And uh, 10 years time, I may well feel very much the same about Castle, but uh, right now I'm steeped in him. It's like he lives with me. <laughs> Sir. Hey, Castle. It's hey, buddy. Uh, I can't believe I'm going to be talking with you right now. I'm shaking right now. I have, I have two quick ones and a couple, two other questions. Uh, my first question is, um, how did you get cast to be Castle? How, who invited you to be Castle? How, you know. I was doing an episode of Desperate Housewives. I had a deal with ABC. They were going to find a job for me. And they had all these scripts. Castle was the last one I read for no reason. It was just on the bottom of the pile. And I really enjoyed it. I asked them to meet with me. And I, they were kind of to come to my dressing room in a little trailer. There was six of us all kind of jammed in there. <laughs> And uh, one of them uh, was the executive producer of Castle, one was the creator, one was our director, and also all, all the executive producers, all the power players of Castle. But one fella, his name is Armin. Super suave, good looking, kind of salt and pepper hair, and tall, tall guy. Kind of looking at me, kind of squinty eyed. I thought, this guy hates me. <laughs> He's now like my best friend in the world and uh, a mentor to me. He's an incredible man. He's a mentor because uh, when I asked him about that day, he said, no, 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 no. I just, I don't know how to get to know somebody in front of six people. I need one-on-one. -on -one. And that was, that was the first meeting. And I simply said to these guys, stop looking. Found him. I know exactly what to do. On, uh, on Desperate Housewives, I was dressed kind of white bread, kind of collegiate, kind of tennis clothes, and I said, ignore this. I'm actually cool. And uh, they bought it. Suckers. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit after? There's all the back of that car. Okay. I'm flattered. <laughs> oh, your mom? Oh, no, let's meet you. A little bit awkward, but okay. Yes? Hi, uh, I'm a designer of Alicia Colliers. We make the official replica productions of Firefly Clothing. My question is, would you like a coat for your trophy case? <laughs> Like a glove. What is that? It's hot. I'm gonna say right now, it's a little bit hot. I'm gonna wear this for one more question. If you had to kick anyone off the pool of sanity, If I had to kick anyone off the crew of Serenity, who would I kick off? Okay, Jane came pretty close. Right? He was right there. Simon got kicked off. For a hot second, he was out. 
He and his sister too. Come on. Malcolm Reynolds is a softie. He, who is he going to pick up? Bob Simon. Bob Simon. Yeah, I'm going to say the softie. Good night, second, because it's really hot. So provocative. Here's your card, thank you. Go ahead on that side, go ahead.
having lived in the United States since 1997, oh my gosh, 1997, I became a citizen, yeah, part of them. <laughs> and I don't remember Celsius. I really, I'm like, uh, it's gonna be 88 today? I know what that means. Uh, when people start talking Celsius, I, I forget. I honestly do. Unless we're talking about anything under zero. <laughs> and I remember all too well. I know exactly what minus 18 feels like. That means I can wear shorts. And I know what minus 40 feels like. It means in 30 seconds, my face will break. So I watched Gilligan's Island and I thought, wow man, it's never snowing here. They always got sneakers on, it's all green, the plumage, the foliage, the flowers, coconuts. And then you build anything out of bamboo and coconuts. I guess except for both. Yes. Well, it's two-quarter, but uh, what was it filming your last, I guess, the, like the series finale for Cop, for Firefly, and then your last day filming for uh, Sue Serenity? Good question. We didn't know it was our series finale until the day before <laughs> for Firefly. I'm sorry, that's the truth. Guess what, everybody? And so, <laughs> one of those. Um, I honestly thought that these next, after three days left, after we found out we were canceled, we were filming The Message. Oh, I remember. We were filming The Message, we had three days left of filming when we got the news, and I thought, these next three days are going to be the worst. Leave it on. And I came to work the next day, I guess, thank you, trying to be prepared for Everybody being really down. Everybody having a hard time. And I was completely wrong. Everybody was having so much fun on that show. We, it was as if we were determined to suck the last bit of fun out of it that we could while we could. Everybody pulled together in such an amazing way. They were already hardworking and amazing people and they just worked harder and were more amazing for those last three days. It, I mean, if something has to get canceled, that's the way I want it to be canceled. And see. <laughs> yes. Hi, Nathan.